Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second installment in my party makeup series. As you can see, this is a very beautiful banged out purple smoky eye. It is extremely bold. It is beautiful. It is out there. This is something that you can wear to Christmas parties or New Year's parties and New Year's Eve looks and I am so super excited for this look and I just absolutely love it. I am absolutely in love. If you recreate this look, do not forget to tag me in your pictures on Instagram and Facebook. I haven't filmed in over a week because I was a little bit ill and I'm so sorry I didn't have a video for you guys. But now I'm absolutely back in full swing and so happy and so excited and completely in holiday spirit. I am also going to be doing more makeup looks so if you're watching this video for the first time, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any more updates and videos from me. I post makeup reviews, tutorials, hauls, tags, fun stuff, everything. And yeah, if you want to know how I got this look, please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm already starting with a little bit of foundation on. Let me know if you guys enjoy full face makeup tutorials. And in this video, I'm not going to show my entire face because the eyes are so detailed. I wanted to keep the focus on the eyes and I've already primed my eyelids with a little bit of concealer. And I'm setting that with face powder now. Now I am taking the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to use that to darken my inner corner and outer corner to create that really beautiful depth and that will help the purple to show up. And at this point I realized that I needed a little bit of tape to give me a nice edge and a beautiful winged effect. So I'm just applying some tape and after that I'm using the black gel liner on the outer corners and this is just going to give me a really nice depth and it will help the purple to pop this is like a dark base for my eyeshadow this is an Inglot eyeshadow I don't really remember what the number is I will list it in the description box below so make sure you check that out and I am stamping it right over where I put the gel eyeliner and this is just going to make the purple look even darker and it just helps the purple look really dark and now I'm taking Makeup Geek Frappe which is my most, my absolute favorite shade in the entire world for a transition shade in my crease and I'm just putting it in my crease as you can see and of course I'm going to blend that with a clean brush now I am taking a matte white eyeshadow and this is going right under my eyebrows and this is my eyebrow highlight and after that I am going to blend that in I'm just intensifying the purple a little bit and creating it and making it a little more dark a little darker okay <laughs> get it together and do you see that tape that really helps us achieve that really nice winged effect and now I'm taking this lilac -y purple shade on a very small pointed blender brush and that this kind of a brush is really nice to put in your inner corners and to blend inner corners because if you use something like a MAC 217 in your inner corners it'll end up looking really messy and dirty so it is essential to use a really small blending brush in your inner corners and those areas so I am just taking that lilac right into my crease and I'm trying to introduce a little bit more purple into my crease this way and this will also blend into frappe and create that really beautiful slight purple transition shade now I am going to add a little bit more of that dark purple shade right in my crease and this is creating that really nice circular effect of course I'm gonna blend that in with my MAC 217 this is my favorite brush in the entire world for eyeshadow now taking this Makeup Geek eyeshadow, this is a foiled eyeshadow in the shade Masquerade. It's a beautiful shimmery purple eyeshadow and I'm using my fingers to apply that because I find foiled eyeshadows are best picked up by fingers or sponge tip applicators. So I'm just using my fingers to apply that in that empty space that we left in the center. And I'm also going to pick that up with a synthetic brush just to make sure the edges look really nice and clean because yeah everything has to be nice and clean and blended after that I'm taking that same dark purple shade on that very small pointed blender brush and I am making sure that that purple stands out and everything looks nice and seamless and blended now I'm taking this MAC reflex pearl glitter and I think this is in the shade very pink and I am applying that 
with a wet brush right where we put the makeup cake foiled eyeshadow this is going to create that really beautiful effect when you wink when you wink <laughs> when you blink and yeah that's why I applied that a little bit of glitter if you want you could go with a heavier glitter I just wanted a slight glitter and I just tight lined my eyes with the plum nature studio kajal and after curling my eyelashes I'm going to apply one coat of Maybelline the falsies and another coat of Maybelline the colossal mascara I'm of course going to apply false eyelashes because this is a party makeup look and I'm going to skip eyeliner because I wanted to keep the focus on the eyeshadow and as you can see the tape has given us a really beautiful sharp edge and it's a little bit too sharp so I'm gonna blend that in with the MAC 217 and I'm skipping eyeliner because I just want that really beautiful pop in the center if you want it to go even bolder you could definitely apply eyeliner if you wanted and I am applying false lashes these are the Morphe 412 lashes they're really beautiful and nice and fluttery After that, I'm taking my Mary Luminizer highlighter and I've magically done my base and my eyebrows and I am going to apply that right in my inner corner. Let me know if you want to see a full face makeup tutorials tutorial or do you enjoy such makeup tutorials, detailed makeup tutorials or do you enjoy watching an entire face full of makeup. So I'm taking that dark purple shade and I'm putting that right in my lower lash line. And I'm going to intensify that till I'm satisfied with the intensity of the purple. And I'm taking that same Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow on a sponge tip applicator. Do not un underestimate the power of a sponge tip. It picks up products really, really well. So of course, I'm going to blend that with a fluffier blending brush. And after that, I am going to apply the same Plum Kajal in my lower lash line. Oh, I'm darkening it a little more. So after that, I'm going to apply a little more of that Plum Kajal in my lower lash line, lower water line. And I have been enjoying this Kajal. It's really nice and soft and smooth and it stays put on my eyes and it's really easy to apply. And I'm just blending that and buffing that with um, my pencil brush. I like to smudge my Kajals beforehand. And of course, I'm going to apply mascara to my lower lashes. I always go out of frame when I do that. And what am I using? What a surprise. This is the Body Shop's Honey Bronzer. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm super obsessed with this stuff. It is amazing. I'm bronzing up my face and bronzing up the outside of my face because I like the outside of my face to be nice and bronzed. And I'm taking a hot minute to blend that in because I love to be fully blended. And I love things to be seamless and you shouldn't be able to see where anything starts or ends. That's how it should be with blush, bronzer and highlight. Now I'm moving on to blush. This is the sleek single blush in the shade Sahara. It's a really beautiful orangey, browny, bronzy blush. And I wanted to keep it more on the bronze side because I'm going to go in with nude lips. So I wanted to keep the focus on the eyes. And as you can see, I like to keep my blush out and up. I do not like to put it right on my apples. So now I'm taking the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. This is a beautiful highlighter, especially for parties because it does have a little bit of a chunky feel to it. And I do not mind that. I absolutely love that. So I'm putting it on my cupid's bow, a little bit on my nose and on my cheekbones. Now I am applying a new lip liner. This is the Deborah Milano lip liner in the shade 07. It's a really really beautiful peachy nude. One of my favorite nude lip liners. And as you can see I'm overdrawing my lips a little bit because I like to do that. <laughs> For my lipstick I'm going to use a MAC Velvet Teddy. This is one of my favorite nudes. It's a really really beautiful nude lipstick. It looks a little bit darker in the tube but it turns out to be a little bit lighter on the lips. So make sure to keep that in mind when you're buying this lipstick. I absolutely love it especially with this lip liner. I feel like it creates that perfect peachy nude amazing beautiful lip. So I am just applying that really carefully making sure the edges look nice and clean. 
this is how it looks on me and I'm going to set my entire face with the MAC Fix Plus and this is especially nice in the winter time because this is moisturizing and my skin gets a little bit dry in the winter time so I like to douse my face in MAC Fix Plus in the winter time.